Whoa, what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. THC, man. Back at it with the banger. I just arrived to the airport right now, and I gotta go check in all my bags. And we're gonna take some Eddie's before this flight. Make sure you guys destroy a like button on this video. Let's break 10,000 likes on this video, man. I'm heading to New York City. Haven't been to New York City since I was like 18, I wanna say. And then later, we're gonna go to Cancun. Excuse me. I'm really excited for this trip. I'll see how the flight goes. Something tells me I'm gonna get slumped and fall asleep on the flight, but we'll see. It's like a six hour flight. So I have the uh, sour strawberry, and then I have watermelon wave. These are both indicas. You guys know I'm an indica person, and you guys also know what indica's gonna do. Long story short, indica's gonna put me on my ass and put me to sleep. These are both made with live resin. So they only have 90 milligrams each, but since they're made with live resin, it kicks your ass. Like. Those 90 milligrams don't just feel like no 90 milligrams from back in the day when they used to be like, oh, this is 1,000, this is 500. Those were a lot weaker because they were made straight from flour. These, buddy, these are going to put me on my ass. So I've already tried these before. I already know what it does. Make sure you guys destroy the like button on this video, man. Let's break 10,000 likes. So they cut into these, like, squares and stuff. I'm assuming each one of these is 30, like the whole entire, this, I call them squares, triangles. Uh, it's cut into triangles, and I'm assuming each one of these is 10, 10, 10, when it makes them 30. This is a um, sour strawberry. So it has like a little kick of the flour in there. Yeah, you can taste a little bit of the product, but for the most part, it just tastes like sour candy. The trick to not taste them is you gotta burn some before, you know what I'm saying? You gotta roll some up, you gotta take a couple hits, and when you take those hits with that in your mouth and you eat this, you don't taste nothing, you know? Now this one is the, uh, the watermelon wave is what it's called. Mmm, mmm. I actually really like the way this one tasted. Cheers, you guys. Wish me luck on this flight. Oh, mm -hmm. my heart's already pacing because I already know what's up. I already know how this is gonna go. So every time I come to the airport, I have to double check my bag to make sure I don't have anything I'm not supposed to have. I just passed through TSA, and I already feel this shit kicking in. I feel lightheaded. I feel like I'm getting hot, but I gotta take this hoodie off. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna be tripping out on the plane, cause I already feel it, like, that was what, 180? 180 milligrams? I'm gonna either sleep really good on the plane, or I'm gonna throw up on the plane. This is how lit I am. I literally bought food and I'm not even hungry. Like, I don't plan on eating that. Not anytime soon. But I just feel like I'm so lit. I was like, this is what you do when you're lit. You gotta buy some food. And I bought the food, but I'm too stoned to eat. This is crazy. I mean, you guys just see an airport. I don't. <laughs> I'm paying attention to all the little details right now. Well, at the same time, paying attention to nothing. Hey guys, so yesterday, I didn't record anything. I got off the plane, like, super big. Let me tell you guys this. First of all, when I sat down on the plane, the plane hadn't even taken off. I was already trying to fall asleep, all right? And this is where I knew, this is where I knew I was ruined. I knew I was ruined when the plane started moving and my stomach just started, oh, and I was like, oh no. Like, why does my stomach feel like that? Like, the, I shouldn't feel like that. Then when the plane really started taking off, like when I started catching some speed, my whole stomach just turned, bro. I just closed my eyes and I was like, don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. But every part of me wanted to throw up. I had a bag underneath my feet that was like food. And in my head, I'm like, worst case, I'm throwing that food straight out the bag and I'm just yakking in this bag right now, you know? But I was trying to hold it together because I, I hate throwing up. Like throwing up is like my worst enemy. I hate throwing up, honestly. So um, with that being said, I held it together and then probably, probably like 10 minutes into my flight, my stomach got a little bit under control and I went straight to sleep. And then I woke up to the flight attendant like tapping on my shoulder like, sir, we're in New York. And I'm like, oh shit. So I grabbed my bags, I got down. The homie wanted to go pick me up. We put up on a more. And uh, what's up, Amor? Let's get it, what's up? What's poppin', what's poppin'? Yeah. And uh, we put up on a more at his, at, his, at his job and shit, ate some food. 
Did I look super stone yesterday when I pulled up on you? Nah, for sure, bro. I looked big. Yeah, I think you guys were even telling me, your eyes are bloodshot red. <laughs> I didn't film. I don't know. I should have filmed for them to see how high I was. Yeah, I looked out of it. That's how I felt, bro. I felt out of it. Like, being high doesn't even describe how I felt. I felt out of it, bro. Straight up. I felt like I was not supposed to be up anymore. Like, and I just came back, and then this fool was like, yeah, you can crash here. We're supposed to go to the gym. When I laid in bed, I knew I wasn't going to the gym. When I felt like that, like everything, my body, I was just like, nah, bro. I was like, I need eight hours plus of sleep right now just to recover from this trip. And yeah, man, thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better right now, man. We're in New York. Spark that shit on more. So yesterday I didn't make an outro for my video, so thank you guys for everything. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys destroy the like button. Now this vlog is ending, but I'm starting another one right now. So don't think, you know, we're going to stay too far away from you guys. Just do me a huge favor. Destroy the like button on this video. Make sure you guys keep supporting by commenting down below and sharing the content. Right now we're going to see if the homie can get out of here in his Daytona. We're in New York. Look, this is, I'm already like dealing with culture shock. We gotta walk to find this fool's car because he can't just park in front of his house, you know? And now he's hoping that when we pull out, the car doesn't get stuck in the snow. So we're gonna see right now if the car gets stuck or not. This, this is the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Let me see, bro. Let's see what happens. We're gonna see right now. Do you pull out or not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna get a guy out. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, you're not getting out of that. So, eh. You want me to push it? No? Hold on, look. He's ready for moments like this. What's up? What you got? We gotta shove all the way out. So, you gotta. All this ice. This could happen at any moment right here.